And I'm cooking it here on the side of this mountain. Uh, I burped. A plus. Trail day nine. Uh, what day is it, Ben? <laughs> it is uh, Wednesday, August 16th, and we're heading from Rawlings, Wyoming, into Steamboat Springs, Colorado, which is a place that Thad could not stop talking about. 130 miles. We woke up in the trucker hotel. Got ourselves a trucker breakfast. <laughs> hotel. California. Yes. Scott per flip. So we hightail it back out of town and get on the trail and go past where the pavement ends. And then pew pew pew. That goes with the bullet sign. Yeah, put in some gunshot sound. <laughs> Fly along, come across some antelope, which is pretty cool. Or whatever they were, cantaloupe. They were running that. pretty fast. Not only did we see some cantaloupe, we saw some semis, we saw a guy walking. It was a pretty eventful start. Look what we got here. I've got my uh, little video village where I'm flying the drone. Stay out of stay in the shade. And then I've got my communicate, you know, my walkie right here in my helmet where I'm talking to Andrew just here. to coordinate all of our uh, our choreographed movements. Hey! Can you hear me? <laughs> so there, that's not a drone. It's just some rocks. Hit some more like gravel, it was pretty wide trails, but eventually we got off onto some more uh, tight dirt trails and we started to come across these cool white trees and we had no idea what they were, but Thad. Ash trees. They surrounded the trail and yeah. we were like, we need to get aerials of this. And so um, Andrew wanted to do the aerials this time. Yeah. And I kind of wrecked the drone a little bit, but it was fine. It was a, the the spark can take a little bit of, be, of a beating. I have a feeling that we're right next to the state line. What is it? I think we're real close to the state line. Just kind of kept riding along. Yeah. Beautiful scenery. And the trail started to get cooler and cooler. Right. And, you know, since it had been raining and storming uh, the past couple days, there was tons of mud and tons of puddles. And we, you know, it's day nine of ten, and we were like, let's get dirty. <laughs> Except for Thad. He's Thad like, wanted to avoid it. See if I can bump start it. Nope. <laughs> And now we're in Burn Town. It smells like, well, that's the water on my exhaust. A forest fire must have hit. All the trees were burnt down. It was just like little sticks poking out of the ground. And by then, you know, I was feeling kind of confident. My Here's little... our first river crossing. Yeah. A9. And I mean, it's not even like a crazy river. It's just like a creek. <laughs> so I go hauling into it. 
and I go face first into it. <laughs> so I picked it up and uh, Ma Sad. Mama Thad came up and... You okay? Did you hurt your face? Cause you, you went face first when you went down. Uh, my face is fine. It's my knee. I'm not in neutral. Or I can't get it in neutral. Can you just pull the clutch? Went sideways. Oh shit. He got me out, thankfully, and I emptied my boots. <laughs> we were all soaked. Not, I mean, not just from the river crossing, but from all the mud before. So then we hit back on and we're like, kind of getting close to, are we at Colorado yet? And things are starting to change, some nice scenery. Um, and it, remember the lunar eclipse was coming out, like it was happening around this time. Yeah. And we came across this car that was like in a spot where it wasn't supposed to be. It was kind of out of its element. Yeah, you, you could definitely see. So that. we just came down this crazy mountainside. How the fuck you get one of those back here to begin with? I know. Do we have to go there or there? So we just came across this Honda Element that's like off-road and wrapped in caution tape and there's like a bra hanging off the mirror on the side of this mountain and there's no way a car like that should be over here. So we're gonna go check it out. It's creepy. Like, why, yeah, why is, what happened here? Why was it, where did this car even come from? Because we haven't seen a road in a while. But Thad got amped. Yeah. He was pumped. This is his, like, thing. Creepy abandoned shit. Bandos, he calls them. That's his thing. So he kind of just did a little tour of this, uh, maybe a murder scene. Touched I don't know. everything he could. That's not afraid to get his fingerprints all over it. Probably sniff some stuff. <laughs> Put a little bit of his hair and DNA on things. <laughs> just to see if anything was worthwhile. He's in it. It, pro it looked more like it, they just got stuck and then couldn't get it out of there. And yeah. so they just left it. We continued on and we, it was more fun trails, you know, we were getting more tree coverage now as we were heading on. As we were getting closer and closer to the uh, Wyoming-Colorado border, we were getting a little hungry and so we were like, eh, might as well stop off and eat a little bit of lunch. So food-wise, you know, we used a lot of those dehydrated mountain, what are they, mountain valley or something? You know, dehydrated, you boil some water, mm -hmm. and but also, if for a pro tip, if you want a little extra protein, tuna keep man. some of those flat pack Good, tuna right? things uh, in your bag because they're self contained, oh, like they're shelf, shelf stable, and you can get a little extra protein in your food. And yeah. uh, well, Ben, Ben liked it. Little tuna mac, <laughs> what you got there? Pasta primavera, all a tuna creation. It all came out of my saddlebag, and I'm cooking it here on the side of this mountain. Uh, I burped. A plus. <laughs> we're coming closer to main roads, right? You know, and you can completely tell we're not in Wyoming anymore. Right. <laughs> like this is so much better. It's very similar to what we felt in Montana, mm -hmm. and so we were super thankful to be out of this just dead flat Wyoming. Right. Mm -hmm. It was paved and like it wasn't the best like twisty off-road stuff, but the scenes were the scenery was really nice. Insert riding montage here. There's not a lot of footage for. Right. And uh, we made it to camp before dark. Washing my feet at the campsite that we made it to before dark <laughs> <laughs> for the first time on the last day if we camped yesterday i guess we would have had we not hotel <laughs> yeah outdoor dog hi prima donna where's bigfoot when you need him just want to go to the fifth dimension it took nine days and we finally had a campfire. Yeah, I really wish that the end of every day was like that. I think we probably could have tried to do less miles, got up earlier, and had a little bit more time to like enjoy camping in the evenings or enjoy the road along the way. Not that we didn't, but give yourself plenty of time. And until next time, we'll see you later.